Hi, my name is Jennifer Miller, and I want to welcome you to the Jenny Wren. I'd like to tell you how I got started. A couple years ago, I left my corporate job to take care of my grandfather while he was passing away. And after he passed, I really wasn't sure what I was going to do with myself. I was a mom, and I was mourning. And one morning, I got up and I just decided I was going to paint a piece of furniture. So one thing led to the next, and I chalked my first piece of furniture. I loved the process of doing it. I loved breathing new life into something old and taking this ratty piece of furniture and making it look spectacular. Um, that next spring, Dan and I decided that we would throw our hat in the ring and do some furniture shows. Um, we did really well. It was a lot of fun. I met a lot of really awesome people, but it was an awful lot of work. And my boys were getting to an age where they didn't want to hang out with mom over the weekends and haul furniture. So um, we just kind of started casting vision. What would it look like if we opened a storefront? And where would we open a storefront? I love Millersburg. I grew up here. I love the people here. Really wanted to sew back into my community. And so um, we would drive past this building to go to church. And I would just kind of giggle and say, Lord, if you want to bless me with a shop ever, I'll take that building right there. I kind of like that it had a parking lot. Oh, shoot. So fast forward, um, last February, this building became available and my husband called and said, hey, listen, it's time for you to get out of the boat. Uh, the building that you've been praying over just became available. And so um, we started just praying specifically over this business. What did that look like? What did the Lord want us to do with it? And he really impressed upon us that we were to sew back into families. Um, use this store as an outlet to sew back into people. We just started praying for vendors. And, um, you know, I can remember one morning, it was a Thursday morning, and I said, Lord, if this is you, help me to have four vendors by Monday. And, you know, by Monday I had 17. Our vendors do create exclusively for us, and they are a beautiful mix of Amish, English, and Mennonite families um, from all over. And um, coming into the 2019 season, we now have 82 vendors uh, and a couple more that may be coming on board. Um, just a beautiful mix of um, chalk painted furniture and our barrel furniture line um, has expanded substantially since we first opened our doors. Um, lighting and um, textiles, just, just a nice mix of everything that makes your home cozy. I hope that when women come through our doors that they feel loved and they feel valued and they love the environment in here. Um, I am very particular about price points. Um, that was something that the Lord also laid on my heart was that I needed to be accessible to everybody. We needed to be a shop that every single person could find treasure in, no matter their income level. And so we're very particular about price points in here. Um, and just making sure that there's something for everybody um, by way of wares. And I love to watch the women that come in here to shop because um, they get giddy <laughs> when they find treasures. Like I get giddy when they come in my back door. Um, I just, I love it all. But um, really for us, this is something that we, we steward daily. Um, out of love and um, you know our homes our homes are a valuable place they exude our, our love and our joy you want your nest to be cozy and us girls were kind of like birds and that's kind of how the Jenny Run came about um, you know a mama bird we're fierce fighters and we're fierce nurturers and um, we pour into our families just unbelievably and uh, you know you think about how fragile a bird is but how strong they are too and um, I just think that it's it's what makes womanhood very beautiful 
and so that's kind of the premise of our business. Um, we just we try to carry things in here that you'll take home and you'll just feel really good about. And so I do hope that you'll stop in to see us. Um, I hope that when you're here, I can get to know you better and uh, learn about your families and just be able to talk with you. And I hope that you love my store as much as I love my store.